All right, Park City, Heber, Midway, Oakley, Salt Lake City, Camas, but especially all the people up in Park City. You are definitely gonna wanna check out this video because today you're in for a special treat. We are training with professional NHL hockey player, Jack Skilly, two-time Olympian, Jonathan Garcia. We train every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I should say they train and I get to come join them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday up here in Park City. We're here at the soccer field where the ice skating rink is over there, the Intermountain Hospital is over there, Typically, they hold the training sessions here on this side of the mountain or just over the hill on the soccer fields on the PC hillside, all for free. So if you're complaining about needing to get in shape and the gyms are too crowded and you're trying to social distance, then this is the workout for you because we do it all outside, social distancing, you don't even have to go to the gym and the workouts are so much fun. And again, professional NHL hockey player, two-time Olympian offering their time to train us for free. You can't beat that. So stay tuned, check out this video to see what the workout's like. Okay, so right. we're doing hip mobility series. Yep. Yeah, let's just try to keep our space. That knee as close to your chest as possible without letting your leg go out too far like this. Okay, try to get it directly over that hurdle. A hop in between each hurdle. Perfect. Now we're gonna go left leg lead, same thing. Add that hop, runner's arms. Moving like athletes here, not robots. We're talking time under tension, that good tension versus bad tension. Finding that little balance. Look who it is! Two-time Olympian himself! <laughs> How's everybody doing? That's what I needed. Straight into it on, on straight up. So a left leg, then right leg, right over the hurdle. So here's the last one of our warm-up series for the day. You feel the burn in your legs for sure. I bet you do. Yeah, it feels really good. We're doing the clock, alternating high pull with a low cross reach. Grab your dumbbells. I'm reaching along that line with the high pull. That makes sense? Okay, that should make our core fire a little bit harder. Okay, ready? Get your, get your weights. Go. So I'm gonna do a high knee, hold it for a second. And I'm gonna reach. We're gonna alternate sides. Okay, go ahead. I get some John in here. When I reach to touch my foot, turning my head, adding more rotation with my body. Gentle with the heels on the ground. It burns. I think everything okay. burns more than dude. In, in, outbound. Hold on there. Resist it. Okay. Don't let it just snap you back. Okay. Oh yeah. What a difference. Now that's a functional core. Yeah. What I was telling you about. You don't have to isolate it. Yeah. Good. Legs are at a 90 at the hip, 90 degree angle, 90 at our knees, or the best we possibly can, okay? We're rotated on this side, laying side, lying. All I'm doing is I'm reaching past my hand as far as I can reach. So here, there, back and forth. I'm catching the weight with this leg, punch back to the shoulder, so I rotate my hip. I bring it back, now quick. Now I did it slow for the demonstration, but here. <clears throat> Got it? Alternating bleacher step up jumps. Face yourself. I'm done. Focus on your breathing here. Add 
Active rest. Oh, that one feels good. Oh. So tired. <laughs> How are you liking it? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I have a, I blew out my back three years ago. I sprained my back earlier this year. So I'm really, um, I've been really nervous in the gym with my back kind of movements. So this just is like perfect. Yeah, at any point in time, even during these, you can still push it too far. Got so, it. I mean, you just really gotta, that's the beauty of the clock. Yeah. Why we do the clock? Yeah. Is you go at your own pace. Yeah. You know, it's, I just I've fallen in love with this. I just fall in love with seeing these the people that keep on repeating and showing up and yeah. yeah. They have a sense of ownership too. Yeah, yeah. Falling in love with the movements. I feel like like we were talking about for me especially my back is the last few years been something that I'm always trying to be careful with when I work out and this feels like I said just it's just doing what I want it to my back to do. But the science behind it, I don't really understand it because I'm so in layman's terms, like the way the way that Steve, my old personal trainer, my my development coach and mentor, yeah. puts it, and I've embraced it, you know, drank the Kool Aid, so to speak. Yeah, I mean there is scientific research on it as well, but um, a lot of people call our bodies the kinetic chain, a, a kinetic chain. Got so it. from our toes to our fingernails or the top of our head, we are a chain. Gotcha. And as you can think of a kinetic chain or a chain link, it's if one links off, yes, the whole chain doesn't work, function properly anymore. Got it. So instead of isolating single links in the chain, the movements that we're trying to do is get all of those links working that makes together. Sense. So those links would be some things like those little uh, stabilizing muscles. Got it. Uh, instead of the big primer mover muscles that yes, you know, like biceps or quads. But there's yeah. all these so many different supporting muscles that help your prime mover muscles Got it. that um, help them function. So that's basically what we're doing. We're trying to connect you gotcha. from toenails to fingernails or the top of your head, depending on what the movement is. Got it, got and it. strengthening your kinetic chain. Gotcha. If you're an athlete or you care about just having a healthy athletic body yes. or being able to move well. Move well. Um, it, it, it comes down to the fact that you don't have to be an athlete to be strong. Right. You don't have to be an athlete to be strong. So I could be, I could lift a car. Yeah. But I'm not, I, I don't necessarily have to be athletic to do that. Right, right. But you have to be strong. Yes. In order to be an athlete. Right. So through athletic movement, through moving well. Yes. You're actually becoming stronger from head to toe or toe to fingernail. Right. Um, everything in between. Right. I care more about my spine health. Yes. I care more about my hip mobility as a hockey player, as an athlete. Right. As an athlete for injury prevention purposes. Yes. But in life, why it's called FMT life is because if you haven't noticed already, these movements are all life movements. Yes. That's in essence why it's called FMT life. I love it. I love it. And move well, I think is the word that resonates the best for me because I'm just a dad, right? Like I was once kind of an athlete in my younger days, but now I'm just a dad who's going to have to start running around with his uh, four-year-old son as he gets older and, you know, start start playing ball with him again. And this just feels good. The moving well, that's, well. And I always, I always like bringing up Steve because I stand on his shoulders. He's a giant. Yeah. He's a giant of mine. He's not an idol, but he's a giant. Yes. Okay. So I stand on his shoulders and he's got a company back home in Wisconsin where it's called Train to Play. Ah. Um, a lot of people like to start these companies and say train like the pros. Yeah. Steve will combat that and he'll say, well, I want my pros to tra train like kids. Ah. I want them to move like kids. Right. Because if you look at little kids, how flexible they are, yes. how mobile they are, how, how much energy and stamina they have. Yes. Well, why not train your pro athletes to have that same exact flexibility, suppleness, right. and, and injury prevention, and, and just um, stamina for their respective sport. So I think right. that's the whole goal here, and it's a great point you bring up. It's like you're now you're entering a stage in your life where you need to be able to move and help your kid grow. Yes. You want to be there and be able to do that, that sort <laughs> right. of thing, right? Exactly. Now, why break your back doing squats or deadlifts or all that? Right. If, if that's your thing. Right. More power to you. But exactly. Just be prepared. Yes. You know, at some point, your body's going to say no more. Exactly. 
Exactly. So. Yeah, and that's what I love about this. The moving well just is what I love about what I've learned so far in the few times I've been here, which is why I'm already hooked. Cool. Well, yes. I, we, we appreciate having you and anybody that wants to join. We it just like, come on, everybody's welcome. Is it the Fox? You can go at his own pace. Yes. Any age level. Steve, 65, 66, I don't know, maybe, I don't hope he doesn't see that, but yeah. right around that age and he's still moving like a 30 year old. Right, so, right. I mean, that's my goal. Yes. My goal isn't to be like, yeah, I, I would love to be one of the best players in Europe for yeah. hockey. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't shoot for that Right. As a pro athlete? Right. But my long-term goal is to be able to move for my baby boy, Leroy. And, yes. and when he's ready to play catch, I can do that. Exactly. When he's doing things, I want to be there with him. When I, when he's riding the mountain bike at Round Valley here, Yes. I want to be there. Yes. You know, so that to me is the most important thing in my life. And it's going to remain the most important thing in my life. And talk about success and show that is true success. Right. If I can make it that far, I'm a success story. I am awesome. I love it. So. I love it. Excellent. Well, right. thank you, Jack. All right. Thanks, man. Elbow. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, that workout is pretty intense. Whether you're an Olympian, professional athlete, whether you're just somebody who wants to get in shape, I highly recommend, especially if you live in the Park City area, to come join Jonathan, to come join Jack Skilly, to participate in these workouts. I mean, you know, Park City has a lot of Olympians that live here. Whether you're a skier, whether you're an ice athlete, whether you're a bobsled athlete, whatever athlete you are, and you're looking for an extra workout, come work out with Jack Skilly, professional NHL hockey player, Jonathan Garcia, two-time Olympian, I think you will really appreciate the movements that we do here. This type of workout for me today as an older individual who's no longer in his youth and in his prime just makes so much more sense for my mobility. I have to really say that I truly, truly enjoy this particular workout because it just makes me feel more flexible, which is in my personal opinion, probably the most important thing that an individual can have as they get older is to keep their mobility and their flexibility to avoid injury, especially back injury as we get older, it takes longer to heal. So definitely come check out these workouts. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. And please, if you have any questions, don't forget to put them down in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching.